me hit this. <laughs> Close your hand. You, you can't push from outside now, you hear me? Keep your hands to the side of your chin until you work your way in that way. Let him hit the gloves. But if you try to punch him outside, he's punching. Okay. 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 Pick it up oh, yeah. Let him have one more chance. Yeah. Let's go. Yes, that's what they're talking about. Let's the go. Reverie. You got to pick it up. Move your head. You just move that DM real nice. In and out, in and out. Ambibox numbers show that from the fifth round on, David Diaz's punch output has been dropping. 65 punches thrown in the fifth, 57 in the sixth, 50 in the seventh, only 38 in the eighth. Surely a serious consideration must now be given to stopping the fight in the ninth if things continue the way they've been. for this little ethic in the sport, Emmanuel. If this were Pacquiao's title belt instead of Diaz's, it would have been stopped before now. It probably would have. Right. You know, they, because Diaz is going to keep coming all night once they let him. But it's, even when he punches, he's ineffective. He's not a knockout puncher, so he's not going to probably perform a one punch miracle. If there's so much more punch damage than he can take before the fight eventually ends. He's had his moment in the sun. He's got an $800,000 guarantee and the chance for pay-per-view benefits if the buy rate rises above a certain level. He got a lot of publicity before the fight saying, I'm driving a 1991 Honda with no air conditioning. He's going to get a chance to buy a new car. Well, he may end up with a million dollars for this fight, so, which is a good paycheck. And, and he's, he's did a good job. He's just not talented enough to compete on this level with the top fighters. But he's brave enough to compete on any level. And, and get hurt. that. much more than just a power puncher. A flame of pure fire. He did it all. Incomparable in the sport. There's only one. Portrait of a superstar. Manny Pacquiao in bold relief. New weight class. Let's turn now to the extremely brave young man who Manny vanquished here tonight. A moment of sportsmanship here. David, there was a moment uh, between rounds toward the end of the fight when we heard you say to your trainer, Jim Strickland, I can handle his punches, he's just too fast. Was that basically the story of the fight? Yeah, he was, he was too fast. Fucker was too fast. <laughs> did, did you have any idea coming in that he could be that way? No, no. I, I seen him on tape and stuff like that, but I didn't... I was like, I could do with that speed, you know? The power is what I wanted to worry about. But it wasn't so much about it, it was just that he was so fucking fast, man. Fast, fast, fast. Amazingly fast. Fucking amazingly fast. I was like, I thought Freddie was in there fucking hitting me too. So, uh, <laughs> you know? Hey, you know what? It happens. You, you go into the fight and um, you go in and you risk it. But with a guy like this, Manny, shit, at least I say I, I fought a, a good fighter, man. And that's all I want. I want to fight. That's it, man. 
You got cut on the nose, uh, I think, in the first round. By the second or third round, the cut above your eye uh, appeared. Obviously, Jimmy was trying to do everything he could to stop the cuts, but the blood kept coming. How much did that bother you during the fight? No, it didn't bother me at all. I thought he had a knife with him, though. I thought he, uh, he was cutting me up with a blade. But he was, he was fast. He was faster than what I expected. Um, I, could, I, I could deal with the power, but it was just his, his speed was more than what, what I thought it was. And uh, I got tricked by his speed. That All right, Floyd Mayweather has retired. The argument is, who's the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world now? Is it Pacquiao? Is it Joe Calzaki? Is it maybe a rising superstar like Miguel Cotto? Off what you saw tonight, is there any real argument about this? Well, yeah, I mean, well, I'm not, not going to say, oh, no, he's not. He just beat me, man. So, <laughs> you know, he, he's good. He's fucking good. And um, I, my hats go off to him. We went in there, and we, I, I fought, and I gave him my all. And his speed was just a fucking, the thing that, that sealed it for me. His speed was too controllable, uncontrollable, I mean. And, um, and my hat's off to him, and he's a good fighter, and, you know, well, what else can I say? I mean, we lost today, and tomorrow we'll win. Aside from rooting for the Cubs to win the World Series and all of Chicago's other big possibilities right now, what's in your future? Well, we're going to go back, relax, uh, get us to a hot shower, and then from, we'll take it there from, from there uh, tomorrow and just see what happens. We're going to take a nice little break and just come back at it, man. I mean... I'm 32 years old, I'm, I'm getting up there, but I started back late, but, you know, I mean, to go with, with a guy like Manny Pacquiao, shit, I, I think I'm doing pretty good. You heard him chanting, Manny, 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 do you think you got the respect of this crowd tonight? I hope I did, you know what, only time will tell, and um, that's, that's just it, I only time will tell, if they like the way I fight, then fine, if they don't, then, you know, that's just it, <laughs> they don't like the way I fight. It was a brave show. Oh, Thank yeah. you very much, David. Manny Pacquiao is an awesome, awesome person. All right. Emmanuel Stewart, we heard from both fighters. Uh, you saw what you saw in the ring. Your final thoughts. Well, I thought Pacquiao fought a tremendous fight. I predicted that he would incorporate movement tonight because of the style of Diaz, but I didn't think he would be moving and punching and doing such a variety of things. It was a spectacular performance. And a spectacular debut in the lightweight class for Manny Pacquiao, who now has a title in a fourth weight class in his amazing career, probably the greatest of any Asian fighter in the history of the sport. He makes his statement a powerfully compelling one for the status of number one pound for pound and looks ahead toward possibly another rematch with Marquez or even the possible fight with Ricky Hatton or any of a half dozen other potential big fights for the man who, with the departure of Mayweather and the potential departure of De La Hoya, looms as the economic bell cow of boxing. The fighter whom everybody anywhere near his weight class is going to want to fight because of the response of crowds like this. Thanks very much for being with us on this special HBO pay-per-view telecast.